Okay, for those of you that have been reading our blog for any length of time, you know that we're very interested in foreclosures. Um, foreclosures have been, um, you know, widespread for the past couple of years, um, in certain parts of the country, you know, more so than others. In our area, is no exception. There's foreclosure opportunities everywhere. Um, if you're interested in foreclosures, we have a free ebook that if you sign up for our email list, you can learn all about it. It's about 52 pages. It also talks about tax liens and other uh, real estate type stuff. Again, you can get it for free by signing up for our email list, or you can pay $37 and um, get it that way as well. You can click on the banner on um, any of our postings and you'll go straight to it, and you'll get it immediately after um, confirming your email address. But anyway, I came into a uh, foreclosure opportunity that I looked at um, this morning, and unfortunately, I do not have any pictures or video. I took it when I visited the property this morning, but um, I lost it somewhere in the in the shuffle and all the. It's been in the electronic garbage, I think. But anyway, I don't have it. I'm going to visit the property again tomorrow, and I will take video and pictures of it again. It's in a very nice. Um, it's in a nice neighborhood. It's in a in a nicer part of town. Um, it's a uh, you know I use two, we I use two things to analyze a property and that is gross rent multiplier and capitalization rate. Typically, I use capitalization rate uh, and then I use the GRM as a backup. I'm not sure exactly what the numbers are for similar houses in this area, but I'm estimating since they the uh, original purchaser purchasers bought the house in 2002 for fifty four thousand dollars and it's safe to say that it's probably estimated when we go to refinance this house as the bank would appraise it at you know between sixty and seventy thousand dollars again that's an estimation but even if we paid full asking price for this house um, depending if there's a bidding war or whatnot which I don't ex expect there to be um, then uh, we would still get you know seventy or eighty percent of that, um, so we would have immediate equity in the in the in the property to go out and use the extra money to purchase another property and put us in a better equity position, or um, fix up other properties we have, or just do whatever we want to with the money. Basically, that's the beauty of real estate. So anyway, I'm going to analyze these numbers, and I uh, first I calculate the income, of course. And the first column is the estimation with the with property management. The second column is for without property management. And the reason I split up these columns, even though the expenses are all going to be the same, is because in the spreadsheet it makes it easier to calculate the numbers for the potential purchase prices down here. So it just makes it easier on myself. I can change. We have up to 14 units that I calculate for. And of course, this one only has one. Again, the left and the right. The left one is for property management. The right one is without it. And I can change the the, the rent, and um, and all the numbers will change. Of course, that's a, that's the nice thing about spreadsheets. So anyway, um, I'm about to take this purchase price seven out because I messed up on that. I'm about to change the formula, and I don't have time to fool with it. So I'm going to um, cut it. Or delete it. Hold on. Just a second. I'm not going to do this a zillion times. Anyway, um, the unit one, I'm expecting to get anywhere from $500 to $700 in rent. And you know, of course, it's a very important we have a positive cash flow. I'm thinking in the $650 range. So at $650, we have an annual income of $7,800 of vacancy. We always calculate vacancy because inevitably you will have a vacant unit. And that is for um, vacancy, and that is for turnover and all that jazz. Maintenance, we calculate at 10%. Management, 10%. Taxes, $1,100. Municipal fees, which this is outside of the city limits, so I'm not sure how that's going to come into play, at $90 per quarter. Insurance, $300. And there we have our expenses. The annual income, $7,800 as above. The annual expenses forty two twenty and we have our not net operating income of thirty five eighty. And someone asked me um, why we don't calculate the mortgage and all that, and that is a, a big discussion for later and you can check the forums. I think I actually have a blog post about that, but that's outside of um, 
of what I can talk about right now. But you do not calculate the mortgage. So you, if you ask that and if you think that you do, you do not. So anyway, um, the potential purchase price, if we bought this property at $87,000, which we would not do that even if using the gross rent multiplier, uh, if, unless we were going to resell it, um, would be 4.11% uh, with management. That's just unacceptable. That means that the property would calculate in what, 25 years? Yeah, 25 years. And without management, 5.83, that's just unacceptable. We would not do that. Um, if you were living in the house, maybe it's a nice little two bedroom house on top of a hill, central heat and air, doesn't have, you know, it doesn't have much wrong with it that I can tell. Of course, you always want to get an inspection and you always want to get property insurance. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do once I read over the disclosures that I got from the broker this morning um, from you know the bank gave that we have to uh, agree to um, is once we make the offer I will contact our attorney and get title insurance and an inspection done that's very important especially title insurance and then secondly the um, the um, property inspection uh, so you don't want anything creeping up. You want to know what's going on before you purchase a property. And title insurance protects you from in case there are any liens on the property. If there are liens on the property and you purchase a property and there's not a clear title, you are responsible for those liens. So you could get the house for $1,000, but if there's $50,000 in liens on the property, then you're responsible for them and you got to pay them. So you may as well, you know. So you want to make sure you have a clear title. And once you have a clear title, then you can move forward. Then you want to get the inspection done, but you want to make sure you have a clear title so you don't waste your time. So you can deal with that first and foremost. So anyway, um, the least um, I need to change this to thirty-five. The asking price is thirty-five thousand dollars, with which a with a management fee will give us a ten point two three percent cap rate, which is respectable. Without management, it jumps up to 14.49%, which is much better. But I, we always calculate, personally, I always, always did calculate management to the equation because I don't want to be a landlord my entire life. I want to be able to unload it on other people. And, you know, I've always said that if you, you have to buy right, it's better to buy right than to, you know, make up for mistakes on down the road. So you want to make sure you purchase it right to begin with. You want to make sure you do your homework. You want to make sure you know what you're doing before you even purchase it. Because if you don't, you can, you can set yourself up for a world of headaches and trouble and a mess and everything else. So anyway, I calculate management into the equation first and foremost. So as you can see, um, we can pay as much as $50,000 for the property and still have a respectable cap rate of 7%. You do not want to have the... Um, the you don't want it to capitalize you don't want to have to capitalize longer than what the loan's for so if it's capitalizing in 20 years and you loan for 15 that's not a good thing so you want to make sure it capitalizes within the time less than what your loan is um fifty thousand dollars would be the most we pay for it again if we use the grm it's probably going to be in a fifty to sixty five thousand dollar range i'm thinking it's probably going to be in a sixty five thousand dollar range we're going to offer probably twenty five they're going to come back with twenty eight I'm thinking they might be sticklers and only want 35. At $28,000 with management, we have a 12.79% cap rate. Very respectable. Without management, it's 18.11%. So if we can keep all these numbers as low as possible, this house is going to capitalize. In a very short amount of time, we're going to have a house that's paid for, capitalized, and making money. Um, to go and refinance, to you know, live the the rock star lifestyle that, that we all like to live, and I'm just joking, of course. But to go refinance the house, purchase more property, and that's what real estate's all about: making, letting other people go to work to pay for your toys, your way of life. So I don't have to go to work and trade my time in for dollars because that's not my style. But anyway, that's these, that's this foreclosure um, in a nutshell. Um, so I'll find out tomorrow um, what's more about it and have a, a video tour and a picture and a little bit more information. 
and I'll follow up with um, the, the offer that they'll accept and what our numbers will actually look like and tighten these numbers up in a bit.